Hey everybody, it's JPT, back here with Survival Minecraft. First off, I want to say hello and greetings to Troy Jr. Welch, also Village Idiot B, and Oberon Blade, new subscribers to my channel. Do appreciate your guys' support. Quite a bit, quite a bit. So, uh, we've got a farm here. Actually did this on a live stream. Just kind of was like, hey, I need to make a farm. So, our... Uh, our, our portal room is there, and then if you, like, the lake is on that side, and then you keep going, and then a little uh, lookout tower is there. Don't have really too much of an agenda for today's episode, just kind of want to talk about a few things. Had a couple people ask me some questions, and this is bothering me now, so we're going to get this on the ground. Crafting table on the ground. Put it there instead. That way we can walk around. So I cleared out a little bit of this. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, pumpkins here. They grow very slowly. Got uh, melons, which I thought I said in a previous episode that I didn't have melons. But I did. I had four seeds that I found in a mine shaft, I think. I'm not going to go back and look. Uh, this row here is carrots. And then the rest of it, I think, is wheat. Oh, and then these are potatoes. So I've got wheat in the middle. Uh, carrots and yeah so that is pretty much what we're dealing with here still have three deaths haven't made any new golden apples let's go ahead and make some bread mm. oh an achievement get get bread uh speaking of that we got what other achievement did we get we got some random achievement on stream well we got the we got this one we got the sniper duel that was fun that was really cool Took me forever to get it because I kept thinking I was far enough away. Oh, I want that one so bad. Um, what did we get? Oh, of course we can't do this quite yet unless you guys know how to get diamonds to you in a single player world. Definitely haven't done that one. Hmm, we got something. We got two of them on camera. Maybe that wasn't repopulation. I don't know. We're going to probably die if we do that one, which is fine. Um, a couple things that I decided when I hit 10 deaths, I'm going to turn regen back on and that's not anytime soon. That's not the, the plan. Um, that's just something that I decided also inside our room there, which is a little overkill in terms of the vineage. Uh, I'll explain that here in a second. Um, there's pigment in there and they are named and they are finding ways of killing themselves. And that is not something that I like, but here we have a tree farm. And here we've got a little bit of a thing here. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this fence and surround this area here as well. We're going to kind of fence this off so it's a little bit safer. But we have three different entrances to the tree farm. Uh, this is more cosmetic than anything else. Um, gosh, there is one tree here that grew on stream. It was awesome. Look how big this tree is right here. This thing is a bad mamma jamma. Look at that thing. We're going to get lots of oak out of that thing. I almost wish it didn't grow there. I almost wish it just grew out here. I love it. It's a great tree. And then over here, uh, we were kind of playing with uh, the new. Did I just, did that? Do you honestly have to use a diamond pickaxe to get that thing? That's so stupid. Anyways, the thing that turns these lights on. Um, I, I just, I had it reversed and they don't quite work the way that I wish they did. But that's okay. Um, we need stone slabs and I don't think I have any. I don't, so I'll just do that off camera. But I just went with a more simple design. I like this a little bit better. Uh, one thing that I was thought that was kind of interesting is that these uh, cobblestone walls don't kind of bulk up, kind of like they do right here. They don't bulk up like that when they touch something like this. So I don't know. I kind of kind of like that. Uh, this is gonna need to go up. But what I did was I used gravel, andesite, and cobblestone to kind of make it look like. An interesting gravel pattern. There's way too much gravel here. Hmm. Anyways, so you can kind of see that has a little bit of variation in it. Yeah, we definitely need to work on the center stripe a little bit better. Need to get at least one piece of cobblestone up in here, which I don't have. So, anyways, uh, I'm not going to use a ton of this wood just yet, but you just never know when you're going to need it. Uh, this was completely done by just I just did it by the top of my head. I didn't have any design in particular other than a nine by nine square. Put a lily pad there. Yes, cool. We got a bam. Give it to me. A pumpkin right on camera. I like that. So it is real. Uh, so we've got a piece of glowstone that hangs there. We've got what I thought might be a flagpole. I'm not 100% just yet. I did make banners, by the way. So that'll be fun. But this was just, you know, a little kind of a design that I came up with. I like it. I like it quite a bit. 
let's see here. Also, uh, got some of our things to uh, repaired, including that shovel. And it's so like unbreaking that it's yet to even show any signs of wear and tear. Grab this, put that there, and let me. I'm gonna look down. Don't pay attention. I think Goose died, by the way. I don't even hear any of the pigmen. Are you Goose? No, you're Iceman. Goose! Anyways, that's the rule. Iceman. <laughs> they come through the portal there. But yes, this is. This is our worn down uh, portal room. So what I did with the shelves, I made it so that, you know, they kind of like plunk down. You saw a little bit of that. But then I decided, you know what? We want to wear these things down. So this fell apart in the middle, so it fell down that way. Um, this one is just barely hanging in there. But this one fell. I guess technically this one fell too. So I don't know. It's not... Or that one fell. I can't keep up with it. Anyways. So, you know, like... Like that one fell, and then this one fell, and it collapsed, and then there's two on top of each other. Just kind of a little bit of fun. But yeah, these guys, um, what happens is they get kind of, you know, crazy, and then they're like, oh, I want to, like, I want to jump up here. Well, I've got a piece of string there, so they can't jump all the way up there, but they can still get, like, up here, and then they climb, and then they, like, fall down and stuff, or they get, like, really high up there. Iceman was definitely known for doing that. But this is the room. As you can see, it's kind of overgrown. I think it's maybe overgrown a little too much, but the attention to detail in this room is is cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into the uh, game mode of creative so I can fly up here and show you guys. So, like, I've got these um, green uh, stone like this here. It's underneath. Kind of just add a different bit of color. You know, these are kind of growing down like this. And I've got this here where, like, the water's coming through and then it comes down a little bit more and it kind of goes down further this way. I, oh, I kind of considered flooding these lights here. Let me turn the block so I'm not shouting. Turn that down to 10. I wish that was a separate thing because that to me is not a block. It's a, an environmental thing. And I've got these lights here and, you know, just kind of things hanging a little bit. And then over here, if you kind of look up there a little bit, you can kind of see outside a little bit. So, I kind of got a couple areas in here that do that. I think there's one there. Pretty sure there's one. Yeah, there's one right here. That's where, like, the tree farm is that way. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm not used to flying around like this. Um, and a couple areas here where I had to make sure the lighting was okay. So, like, if you stand here, I didn't want something to spawn. So, that has nine on it. So, we kind of had to hide some torches. There's one down there. Ooh, got lucky. I thought we were going to die. Uh, things were definitely spawning up here, so I just... Oh, oh duh, you saw me do that. I'm going to replace it. <laughs> Not used to being in creative. Just destroying things. Um, what, clay? I can't, I, I'm used to being in creative. I'm just not used to being creative in my survival world that I am recording on. So there we go. Okay, we're not going to swing our fist at anything. But, you know, I had to kind of make sure all the lighting was okay in certain places. Like, this, it's not okay, I guess. Is it? No, it doesn't. It's not okay there. But, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. And these clear blocks kind of show that, you know, things have fallen through where I've been able to put them. So, like, you know, that one's fallen through, so it's there. And then there's two that have fallen through here, so they've fallen on the floor. I kind of want to put this in the floor. But, uh... You know, we've got all of our different tools here. We've got this silk touch. Helps out. I think you've seen most of this. I just kind of hard to keep track. But I basically built a tunnel so that we can get up through that way. Because it was kind of getting annoying to climb over the uh, the things. Um, did a live stream, so that footage should be available on my channel if I decided to do it. This is going to be a door. Uh, one of my subscribers on Twitch. Well, let's go ahead and switch back. Um, Ghost gave me some redstone uh, plans. I'm going to give those a shot off camera. Probably do them in my creative world. But yes, we made banners. I can hear the Top Gun theme in my head. Oh, and I love that they wave. And we also found out that they wave differently. They don't wave. I figured they'd be waving in the, the same pattern. But they don't. They don't. So basically this is to mimic like a jet. A sky silhouette. 
Kind of looks like a movie poster. That's kind of what I was going for. I love it. I guess we stole this clay block. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. So it's fair. I didn't earn this. Get out. Ocean, you take that. Do with it with what you may. Um, so we haven't really messed with this too much. Um, I'm considering doing it, but I think I'm going to do it off camera. Basically, um, I've come up with a design that uh, continues this. Oh, by the way, I was getting some really weird dark spots here. So I had to put these blocks here. I think I can get rid of those now. So I put the glowstone underneath there so that this kind of was underlit. This is kind of just like a overlook. So basically what it is, is we're going to have posts that go up here. There's going to be some glass here in the middle. And then there's going to be a acacia roof, which is orange. Uh, yeah, not based on anything movie related. I was really hoping to get into um, infiltrating the ocean monument. That's not going to happen because as soon as I get over here, we're in uh, 14W31A. I was trying to like show you up here. <laughs> then I didn't want to be like making you throw up. But anytime I get uh, th as close as that, I get mining fatigue. And you know how you've seen it in my couple of my videos where it's like, you know, it like comes over the screen like brah, like down like that and I scream every time because it freaks me out. Um, it crashes my client and I think it's just a bug and they've only come out with version A and I think there's a, a, a number of things that they hopefully will fix. So I'm waiting to record videos until uh, they get that kind of fixed. I've been kind of slow on that but I actually just got 8 gigs of memory for my computer. So that should hopefully speed things up and I'm not going to organize this at the moment, but I kind of did the same lighting thing here. I like that a lot. It kind of blends in quite a bit. So the glowstone is just down there. Um, I think I've shown you guys this stuff too, but, uh, yeah, the, the, these things do like, they light up weird. Like if you kind of like walk around like this, see how they like turn on and off. It's like a game show. But yeah, I got eight gigs of additional Ram for my computer and I rendered, I think six full videos of not Minecraft. I haven't done on Minecraft. I'm actually going to do that tonight and hopefully kind of keep track of when I started it and when I stopped it. And that will tell me how long it's taking me to render this video. I'm hoping is going to be about 20, 25 minutes, about the halfway mark. And so, uh, so yeah, so yeah, I dug, dug that tunnel because I've been doing this, but I think I'm actually going to just go ahead and dig a, uh, or not dig, but make a path that kind of comes up and over. Oh, those sheep are so loud and annoying. Um, I love that you can see the banners from here. That's so cool. Uh, the banners just seem like way more complicated. It just seems like a mod more than anything else. It's just, I, it just seems fancy for for, for this game. Um, what was I talking about? I know I was talking about this, so this isn't going to happen until they fix the snapshot. Uh, basically, I've come up with an idea of infiltrating the ocean monument without uh, having, like if they give me mining fatigue, that's fine or whatever. And I might, if it comes to the point where they don't fix it this week, I might just, uh, because when I, I can log back in and I just have mining fatigue for five minutes, it's just every time that animation happens, it just crashes my client. Um, and then the orca is going to go in this area here. And, uh, again, I just can't get close to this monument without it kind of crushing things, but that's just what happens when you're in the, the latest snapshot. Oh, well, it, it happens. Um, let's see. I did maybe want to go to the nether, but this video is not as long as I wish it was. It was just kind of a, a general update. Um, if you guys want to watch that live stream footage, that's pretty much what we, we did in it. And, um, I've had a couple people ask me about donations. I have set up a donation link. You can find that donation link in the description. You're not obligated to donate. It's just that I've got a couple people, uh, sending me private messages asking me how they can donate. And so I just went ahead and set that up and I've gotten a bit of, of money so far. Uh, I do appreciate that. Oh, you know what? I was actually going to experiment with putting a banner up there and seeing how it looked. Let's go do that. Um, and so, yeah, I appreciate you, you guys donating so far. Um, it's not required, but obviously I'm not going to say no to it. If, if you if you feel obligated to do so, I'm not going to stop you. Um, but again, not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Um, I've been able to... to that, that kind of expedited the process of getting that RAM for my 
for my computer. Uh, initially, uh, or eventually, there we go. I want to get uh, 32 gigs of RAM, so I've got 16 now. And so I've just got 16 more to go. My computer will only use 31 of it, but I have noticed uh, quite a difference, at least when it initially like speeds up to render those videos. Uh, I think what I was saying, it was that it rendered uh, six videos in under three hours, which is pretty good for, for the fact that I have a lot of stuff that's not, um, that's like added to the video, like uh, intros and music and stuff like that. I like think that's cool. Oh yeah, so we need to grab this banner, that's right. So what's really cool is once you have the banner, you just make copies of it. So the initial upfront cost of all the uh, the stuff, uh, the uh, dyes and stuff, is kind of annoying. But once you do it, all you have to do is get uh, a bunch of a bunch of wool. You know what? Can you make a copy out of a different colored banner? I'm wondering. Do I have? Yes, I have a stick. So like if I make like a black banner, can I combine those two? No, it has to be white. Okay. Well, now I just have a black banner. <laughs> awesome. Well, I guess that goes in there. I just want to make another one. So I guess that's the case. It has to be has to be white for it to work. Makes sense. So you get this one back, and then you just kind of go your merry way. So this will be the banner that you see in all of my builds. I might make some custom banners for different things, so like that uh, I might make like a custom food banner, but I just want to put this one up there and kind of see how it looks. It'd be cool if they like, like were sideways, like if you could figure, like maybe hold shift when you place them and then they could be on uh, fence post or not fence post. Yeah, fence post, kind of like up there. That'd be kind of nice. I'd, I'd, I'd like that quite a bit actually. Uh, I guess we could put maybe put them up here, but like maybe I just experiment. There's a there's a website, and I'll if I remember, I'll try to link that in the description where I kind of was able to play around with it, and it gave me a screenshot of what the banner should look like, so you can kind of look at that and not feel kind of derpy. Oh, you know what? I thought maybe that was gonna be the case. Put that lip on there because it just looked weird by just the one single slab. All right, so we should be able to come up here. Oh, you know what? We're not going to be able to jump up there. We're going to have to do it this way. be a lot easier. And then we put the banner on top like that. But, whoa. That's weird. Looks pretty cool. But again, I'll probably just build like custom banners so that, you know, they're custom by like, oh, this will be farm. It doesn't look awful, but it, I mean, it doesn't look great either. Um, but people, they rolled up in here. And if it was a, not a single player world, they would know who, who owns that. Let's see. Let's get rid of, yeah, I, I, I need to figure out what I need to, what I want to store over here and what I don't want to store over here. Cause, uh, obviously our, our vault is over there. I just needed real estate. So not only do I have these trees here, I need to be able to build like a, an acacia farm and then um, also the the big dark oak wood tree farm so I don't know um, I did want to answer one question though people ask me a lot especially during my live streams about my recording setup and so uh, let me figure out what do we want to do here let's let's just cut down some trees and I'll, I'll answer that question cool we got an efficiency for so um, I use I have uh, Adobe audition and I record all of my audio separate. So I also use Fraps, which is a piece of software that uh, a lot of uh, YouTubers use. Um, you could also use OBS, which is just the streaming software. They actually have a recording capability. The only time that I would ever use OBS is if I couldn't get a game to, uh, to kind of record with Fraps or uh, if I wanted to include my webcam which I'm not going to do uh, at the moment because I just, I'm not, I'm not looking my best. I'm not looking f fresh. We'll just say that. Um, and I've done that a couple times. I think I like did that with my banished series for a little while, which I haven't played. And I don't know if I'm going to get back into that anytime soon. Um, a lot of people also ask me about my microphone and my microphone is just a really simple uh, microphone. It's a uh, Shure PG48. Uh, your microphone, as long as you have a decent microphone, you should be okay. It's really your, um, 
we need to get apples too, so it's good that apples are coming in. Um, it's like a mixer or um, a recording device, and so I've got a recording device that acts as a mixer. I've got a, a Zoom H4n. It's actually my father-in-law's, but he doesn't use it, so he just lets me borrow it, and whenever he needs it, I get it back to him. You know what? Let's just go ahead and cut down this tree. As, as much as it pains me to cut down this tree, we just we need the wood. And so, you know, your microphone isn't as important as what it's connected to. So, like, you wouldn't want to necessarily buy a microphone and then just try to, like, connect it directly to your computer. Like, that just wouldn't sound good. So you want to have a device that can kind of uh, quiet things down a bit or give you a little bit of sound. Um, eventually, I want to buy a mixer. I think I've talked about that before. Like, an actual mixer with, like, more, like, controls. And this microphone, like Sure, is a really good uh, microphone company for just uh, vocal stuff. And so I would, you know, I would recommend it. This thing was pretty cheap. I think it was about 40 bucks, honestly. Um, but I also work in radio, so I kind of know which microphones are good in certain situations just because of my experience. But a lot of times if you're paying attention, uh, like Sennheiser, or sure are really good microphones. I know there's others out there, but those are kind of the ones that I lean towards just because I have the most experience with it. Like I use a, a pretty basic Sennheiser microphone in my studio for my morning show, and I think it sounds good. It sounds loud and clear. That's all that really matters. Uh, the pickup pattern on this microphone that I'm using, I pretty much have to be like right up on it. So during live streams, it's kind of it's kind of funny because I'm just almost like eating it, and it's kind of in the shot. But, you know, it's not, not the end of the world, I guess. I actually didn't mean to put that torch down, but I'm kind of glad I did. Because it is making things a lot easier to look around. Let's grab this stuff before all that despawns. And so this might, you know, this is just basic microphone with a XLR cable. It's all kind of... Uh, the device I have, the H4n, is actually a USB device. So it's not straight into my uh, sound card on my motherboard. I would actually, if I were to do that, uh, if I were to just record straight into the sound card, honestly, or just into the motherboard, I would probably go ahead and just buy a new sound card on top of it because uh, I don't need my motherboard doing any other work, especially when it comes to audio, than it's already doing. Oh, man, it pains me to get rid of that tree, but... Oops. So I kind of was actually having the trees grow like that, but it seems like if I had the trees up on those uh, little blocks, they, they tend to get a little bit better. I also don't want to just run around here, see like how we've got all these monsters here. I don't want to, we actually need to kill some monsters for more XP. Um, I don't want to like light up this whole area so that nothing ever spawns in here. Like that's the whole point of the series is to kind of keep things terrifying. Um, the game mode I have it in is normal. I mean, we could go more difficult, but this is also a creative series. Um, so I build in, in this world. I build and I survive. And I think it's interesting to try to, to, to build really interesting, intricate things and, you know, have like have the chance of falling and, you know, getting hurt and stuff like that. I'm waiting for that one piece of wood to despawn. Let's see, can I, yeah, so I can get those saps those saps and so i've kind of had a i know a couple of people were just kind of joking about that like oh like this like is this like a building series uh, yeah it is i mean that's just it's kind of what i do i would be doing this exact same thing if i was on a server with a bunch of other people i would i would be building and uh so I'd kind of trying to stay alive oh good there's an apple there too so you know what actually let's go make ourselves a golden apple i think we've earned it Go ahead and take these apples with us. Get rid of that wood. Let's see, let's grab all the things. I brought the string over because I was thinking I was gonna do something special with it, but that ended up not being the case. And you know what, actually, let's come back over here. Okay, so there's nothing too crazy over there. I haven't found any spawners or anything, so that would be a really nice way of getting XP, but that's not going to be the case. Let's walk through here. I'm still not 100% about, about this whole setup, but it works. 
kind of walking through and around this is kind of a pain in the butt, but oh well. But yes, the rule with the uh, pigmen is, uh, again, I can't help, like I, I could try to keep this zombie pigmen proof, but the vines would only come down to here. And that's just not realistic. So like, you know, I've got the moss that kind of grows down this way. I don't know, I'm really proud of this. Like if you can't tell, like I'm really proud of this. One thing that's really funny though, where's that guy at? If we go through here, there's so many zombie pigmen. There's so many. Look at this. <laughs> There's just so many of them. So technically, I wouldn't even need to spawn an egg. I just let these one of these guys through and name them. But I've pretty much got this blocked out so they can't go out there, which I think is kind of funny. But yeah, they just they're just hanging out in here. But those other guys, they just climb up so high and then uh, they fall. I actually, yeah, see like one of them just came through. So like we could probably name him actually. Let me let me get him out of here. He should be he should fall and be okay. Eventually eventually he'll come down. I hope if not he'll climb all the way up there and die to his, I mean fall to his death. It's whatever. It it happens. So like I can climb like this and then climb down. And I can just push him down. See? He kind of floats down. Wee. So I'll name him off camera. But that's the one rule I set up, like, that's that's how I'm going to break the rules, because I've got Goose, I've got Iceman, they're my buddies. Eventually, we'll get some villagers over here, too, which I'm going to have to cart those guys over, and that's going to take forever. Maybe we do a live stream of that. That uh, village is pretty much over in that direction, which we did visit during the live stream, which was kind of fun. Kind of checked them out and saw what was going on there. What did I come over here for? I honestly don't remember. I feel really stupid now. Um, the video is getting kind of long, so maybe I'll cut it short. I feel really dumb now. I don't know what I was coming over here to do. Nothing in these boxes is triggering my memory. Hmm. But yeah, my setup, like I said, fraps. Uh, the H4N cost about 120 bucks, I think. They actually have a higher end model that does video now as well, uh, which wouldn't be, you know, good for your setup. So it's just a basic setup and I record all of my uh, audio separately. I sync it together. This is how I sync it. I start the video off and I go click, 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 click. And then when I go into Adobe Premiere, I just kind of look for how the click sound happens and my sound happens and I sync them up and it's really easy to do it. And that's just kind of how you do stuff like that. There's a couple other ways you could do it, but I think it's easy. By the way, reserve for Junglewood. So I think this week, if we do a live stream, I'm going to uh, go on the search for Junglewood. And the only direction, I I haven't really gone in that direction too far, but uh, I kind of came that way, and so there's just pretty much ocean that way. I walked that way quite a bit. There's nothing Junglewood over there. Um, haven't really walked too far over in that direction, but uh, honestly, that's east, that's north. So northeast is the only direction that I really haven't traveled very far. So maybe we travel that direction and hopefully run into a jungle biome. That would be sweet, but, you know, that's just going to have to wait till the live stream. I'm not sure what day might work better for me this week, so just stay tuned. Oh, gosh. I like, oh, we're going to make a golden apple. That's right. Um, I kind of, uh, I lost my complete trail of thought. Uh, stay tuned to my, my, uh, my Twitter my, my, follow me on Twitter is basically what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to trying to promote myself, and I can't even do a good job of that. So that's just going to give us two hearts. You know what? Heck, let's just make another one. Like I said, we've worked really hard. And we've managed not to kill ourselves. So we'll go ahead and, and do that. And If we can maintain this maybe for another episode, we'll give ourselves another apple. That way we can survive a little bit. And I've got some pretty decent armor. You know, I've got fire protection on this. Protection on that, protection four on that, I'm breaking, protection three on that. So we're doing okay. You know, if we get hit, we fall. Oh yeah, feather falling on these boots too. So that's pretty much what helped keep me kind of alive during all that stuff. I like all these little, like I'm drunk. Hiccup, 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 hiccup. So yeah, follow me on Twitter. I always try to give at least a little bit of a heads up. Also, uh, I do some live stream announcements here on YouTube. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Do appreciate you guys watching very much. And until next time, this is JPD. Go play your games, and I'll be seeing you.